third standard english students now we are going to learn about unit 6 prose on the rule of the road ag cardinal alfred george cardinal is the full name alfred george cardinal 1865 to 1946 alfred cardinal was a british journalist and author he was a prolific essayist and his style and subject matter easily qualified to him to be categorized as what english would call a very civilized gentleman his essays include on habits on being tidy and on talk and talkers on the rule of the road was included in one of gardiner's competition titled leaves in the wind and and was published under his pseudonym alpha of the black and he was the editor of the daily news from 1902 to 1950 under his direction it became one of the leading liberal journalist its day acting as a counter balance to the conservative daily mail he resigned over a disagreement with the paper's owner who didn't agree with his opposition to david lel George. From 1915, he contributed to the Star under the pseudonym and Alf of the Black. So he is a very famous author. Okay, just in this title, on rule of the road. Through the title, we can understand rule of the road. We have to follow the rule and of the road, the rules and regulations. Okay, just here warm up. From the pictures given below, identify the actions that may cause. inconvenience and discomfort to others discuss classify this pictures to show what they depict personal freedom and public liberty the personal freedom and public fr- liberty so don't get confused of both so we have to follow the public liberties to common place the personal freedom personal liberty we have to follow that our own life so that is a differentiation here so okay, let us start in this prose a stout old lady was walking with her basket down on the middle of the street in petrograd to the great confusion of the traffic and with no small peril to herself a stout old lady a fat lady a fat old lady was walking with her basket with her basket down the middle of the street in petrograd to the great confusion of the traffic and with no small peril to herself peril which means risk risk to herself it was pointed out her that the pavement pavement which means way that the way was the place for pedestrians pedestrians person who walk on the street so that is a pedestrian so particularly if we if we want to walk on the road just the particular place they uh, they allot so that way only you want to choose so that is a pedestrian person who walk on the street but she replied i am going to walk where i like so someone asked to her so why do you want walk the wrong way so she replied i am going to walk where i like where i where i like that place only i want to walk we have got liberty now so she said we have got liberty liberty which means freedom we have got freedom now it didn't occur to the dear old lady that if liberty entitled the pedestrian to walk down the middle of the road then the end of such liberty would be universal choice choice which means confusion so she was walking the middle of the road so this is this is not good okay the pedestrians they separately allotted the walking persons we want to choose another one way but she didn't like that way she was walking the middle of the road and then she replied where i want to like i walk so others don't disturb me that like she informed so universal truth if she wants that like so all other humans so what will be happen the universal choice which means here confusion so totally it will be confusion so that's why they have given here so next
everybody would be getting in everybody else way and nobody would get anywhere everybody would be getting in everybody else way and nobody would get anywhere so everybody want to follow others way so no one will not reach that des destination that destination one place individual liberty would have become social anarchy individual liberty would have become social anarchy anarchy which means lawlessness there is no laws no law so that is anarchy there is a danger of the world getting liberty drunk in these days like the old lady with the basket as the ladies all other human beings followed that like which means it will be what will be happen there is no law lawlessness so many of the accident it will be happen so that is true so here there is a danger of the world getting liberty drunk in these days like the old lady with the basket and it is just well to remind ourselves of what the rule of the road means first we should know about it the what the rule of the road we have to follow okay what the rule of the road means it means that in order that the liberties of all may be preserved all may be preserved which means maintained all may be maintained the liberties of everybody must be curtailed everybody must be curtailed which means reduced everybody must be reduced when the policeman say at piccadilly circus so actually the policeman only asked to her that uh, stout lady the fat lady she replied okay steps into the middle of the road and puts out his hand he is the symbol not of tyranny but of liberty tyranny which means autocracy but of liberty you may not think so you may being in a hurry and seeing your car pulled up by his insolence of office feel that your liberty has been outraged how does this fellow interfere with your free use of the public highway so the public highways you don't stop you know, any other vehicles so where it is necessary where is the allotted the place we have to follow so we have to follow the separate allotted the place so the same way they have given here then if you are a reasonable person suppose if he has done that work wrong way so that if if, if it is reasonable you will reflect that if he didn't interfere with you he would interfere with no one and the result would be that piccadilly circus would be a maelstrom that you would never cross at all you have submitted to a curtailment of private liberty in order that you may enjoy a social order which makes your liberty a reality if you if you want to make your personal liberty private liberty in order that you may enjoy a social order so you will be enjoying the social liberty so don't disturb the others so that is a public liberty so public freedom so social liberty and private liberty is a differentiate so private liberty you have to benefit for yourself only but if we want to use the private liberty it will be disturbing to others public so that is the main point of here they have given next liberty is not a personal affair only liberty the freedom is not personal affair only but a social contract social contract here which means a uh, commitment but a social commitment it is an accommodation of interest in matters which do not touch anybody else liberty yes of course i may be as free as i like if i choose to go down the road in a dressing gown who shall say me nay you have liberty to laugh at me you have liberty to laugh at me but i have liberty to be indifferent to you yes indifferent what do you mean by here indifferent unconcerned unconcerned that is a indifferent yes that's my full freedom but i have liberty to be indifferent to you and 
if i have a fancy for dyeing my hair if i have a fancy means a uh, dress yes dress uh decide sorry fancy decide if i have yeah decide for dyeing my hair if i want to dye my hair or waxing my mouth mouth which haven't forbid or wearing on overcoat and sandals are going to bed late or getting up early i shall follow my fancy my desire and ask no man's permission yes that is a so that is a private liberty personal freedom if i want to dye my hair so others will not help me so i will not ask any permission from others and also wearing an overcoat and sandals are going to bed late so if i want to go to bed late you know so i will not get any permission from others so that's my own freedom that's a permission that's okay that's private liberty okay i shall follow my fancy decide and ask no man's permission i shall not enquire of you whether i may eat mustard with my mutton yes for even my eating time also i will not ask any permission from others and you will not ask me whether you may follow these religions or that whether you may prefer ella vila will cost to hotsworth at champan to shandy shandy which means a lemonade in all these and a thousand other details you and i please ourselves and has no one's leave so no one i will not ask any permission from that so that's what i want to decide just i will do that so that is a private liberty the others will not disturb in you it's okay we have a whole kingdom in which we rule alone can do what we choose be wise or ridiculous harsh or Yes, you see, conventional, ridiculous, ridiculous, which means comical, and conventional, which means normal. Ridiculous and hot, or this is normal or hot. But when we step out of the kingdom, our personal liberty of action becomes qualified by other people's liberty. I might like to practice on the trombone from midnight till three in the morning. if i went into the top of the everest to do it i would please myself but if i do it in my bedroom my family i will object and if i do it out in the streets the neighbors will remind me that my liberty to blow the trumpets must not interfere with their liberty to sleep in quiet yes suppose the midnight time the family members are sleeping times others they will making noise so that is a public disturbance so this is not private liberty the social disturbance of it. so just we have to reduce that that's why they have given it here this respect than of our own a reasonable consideration consideration which means uh, scrutiny for the right or feelings of others is the foundation of social conduct it is in the small matters of conduct in the observance of the rules of the road in this observance of the rules of the road this is a public so the, don't use the private liberty here public liberty here that we pass judgment upon ourselves and declare that we are civilized our uncivilized here that next there are a lot of people in the world and i have to accommodate my liberty to the liberties we are we are all liable to forget this and unfortunately we are much more confused of the imperfection of others this respect than of our own and then and declare that we are civilized or uncivilized the great moments of heroism and sacrifice are rare it is the little habits of common place intercourse that make up the great sum of life and sweeten or make bitter the journey so we have to make if we want to make a private liberty we have to make the personal way so don't we don't want to make the public place of a liberty so we have to follow the rule and the rule of the road okay thank you students